Hi everyone, it's Miss Natalie. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know it's been a tough couple of weeks, but I hope that these videos are helping you um, keep your time occupied and you're able to learn these skills that we're teaching you um, and see some familiar faces, right? Because it's really important um, to have that social contact. Um, so that being said, today I am going to make a sandwich. So I would like for you to make a sandwich with me. So what are some of the ingredients that you think we may need to make a sandwich? Um, some people like dressing on their sandwich. Some people like cheese. How many different types of cheeses are there? You can put mozzarella. American. Um, you can put some fruit on it or vegetables rather. You can put vegetables, you can put tomatoes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and gather my ingredients and I will meet you back here. So I gathered my materials and ingredients that I'm gonna need to make my definition of a perfect sandwich. So the first thing that we're going to need is bread. I'm going to take out two slices, and this is just white bread. Um, but there's so many different types of bread that you can eat. There's whole wheat. You could make a wrap if you want, um, ciabatta bread, a loaf of Italian bread. There's really a lot that um, different types of bread honey wheat that are some healthier options. I just like the taste of white bread, so that's my preference. Um, now think about some of the ingredients you might want to put on it. What kind of cold cuts, right? So I have my plate of cold cuts. I chose salami and I chose prosciutto and mozzarella. You can put anything you want on it. It does not have to be these cold cuts. It can be turkey, ham, chicken breast, roast beef. Um, the cheese can be American cheese. It could be mozzarella. It could be Colby Jack. Um, there's so many different types of ways to make the sandwich that there's not just one right way. Um, so I'm going to put these aside for now. And I also have a plate because I wanted to put my cold cuts on a plate. Then I took another plate and I put my tomato and my lettuce. Now, something that is very important to do is you need to make sure that when you're eating all fruits and vegetables, you wash it first. So I'm going to wash my fruit and vegetables while I put my bread in the toaster. Um, I like my bread toasted, but you don't have to do that. So let's keep going through ingredients. I can't eat this tomato in my sandwich like this, right? How would that be possible? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut it up. Lastly, to cut it up, I'm going to need a knife. So if you guys remember, this is called a serrated knife because of the wiggles on the bottom. It just makes it easier to cut fruits and vegetables. Um, and I also like dressing on my sandwich. This is optional. So I'm going to put some mayo. You can put ranch. You can put mustard. You can really put whatever um, you decide. So I'm going to go wash my vegetables. I'm going to put my toast in a toaster. And then we can go through how to cut a tomato together. Okay, guys. So I'm back with my washed tomato. Um, and we're going to cut it together. So. You always want to cut away from your fingers. So you don't want to cut near them, you want to cut away from them, right? And you want to cut this way, not this way, this way. Now the first thing I like to do, I don't like the ends of the tomatoes, so I'm just gonna slice it off. 
And for me, I don't like either ends, so I'm not going to eat that. Then I'm going to slice for my sandwich. So I just like a couple of slices, so I might not need the whole tomato. Don't worry if it doesn't come out straight. Don't worry if one side's a little bit thicker than the other side. It's totally okay. It happens. I'm probably going to cut one more slice. And I might save the rest for a salad. So I might um, dice this up later to put it in a salad. Dicing means really like cutting it in half and um, maybe slicing it a couple more times. Um, but for now, I don't want to use it. So I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag um, so I can use it for later. These pieces on the ends, I'm going to throw out because I don't like to eat them. And I will have my four slices of tomato ready to put on my bread. So we'll be back when my bread is done being toasted. So my bread is done being toasted. My toasted bread. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mayo on both sides. Um, cause that's how I like it. But remember, no rules. However you like it is fine. So I'd like extra mayo. So I put it on both sides. And I'm just going to spread it with the knife. The same knife that I use to cut the tomatoes with because why wash extra dishes? Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lettuce and break it into pieces so that it fits on my bread. I'm going to put tomatoes on one side. I'm going to put salami on top of the tomatoes. So I'm just going to stack it. Then I'm going to put my mozzarella. And then I'm going to put my prosciutto. Um, my prosciutto happens to be on a piece of paper, so you want to make sure that you're not eating any paper. And I like to kind of fold it and just have it like that. And again, we'll fold it. Have that little piece there. Ooh. And then you'll take this piece of bread. Let me just put it here so you can see. And you'll put it right on top. And then I like to just press down. And there you have it. That's your sandwich. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely let me know what sandwiches you made, if you made them with different co-cuts, if you've made it with different dressings, um, maybe if you have a side dish. Um, so let me know. I look forward to hearing how you guys did making your sandwiches. And I look forward to the next video. See you guys soon. Bye.